Hi, welcome to the video on algorithm. My name is Hera Shahin, and today we will see Prince algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm for minimum spanning tree. First of all, I would like to tell you that the book we will be using in this course, Algorithm and Data Structure, is by Gorman, and another book is by Samiran Chattopadhyay, Data Structure through C Language by Samiran Chattopadhyay. Okay, so now let's start the topic. So now we are we will discuss minimum spanning tree. Actually, the idea of minimum spanning tree came from the design of electronic circuitry. Suppose uh, in electronic circuit, someone is uh, supposed to join n number of pins. Then it requires n minus one wires at least to connect n pins. Okay. But in that also there can be many ways, but the most desirable is the uh, the minimum amount of uh, wire required to connect n pins using n minus one wire cost should also be minimum. That is called minimum spanning tree, and we could we can also understand it in the in this way that this these are undirected graph, and you have n nodes, and you have to make the make a tree of it. Using the minimum weights, what is the difference between spanning tree and minimum spanning tree? Spanning tree means just you can connect all the vertices of the graph, but minimum spanning tree means you are given the weights of edges also, and you have to choose the those edges whose weights are minimum. And using those edges, you can connect the graph using n minus one vertices, n minus one edges only. Then that graph, or then that tree you got, is known as minimum spanning tree. Okay, see some example like this. These are three vertices, and you are asked to. Find the minimum, or you are just find to ask to find the spanning tree. The, so this one is also one spanning tree, and this is also spanning tree, and this is also the spanning tree of the given graph. Okay, but if you are given this graph if you are given this graph and you are asked to find the minimum spanning tree of this graph first of all here you are given three nodes so in this in a tree you can have maximum two edges so you can take this two also, this two also, this two also, but you have to choose the edges whose whose weights are minimum. So first you will what you will do? This weight is the minimum of all these things. This is three, this is five, this is two. So this is minimum. So first you will select this edge. Okay, then what you will do? You will select this edge because 3 is minimum 3 is uh, lesser than 5 that's why we will select next this edge whose edge weight is 3 okay so this is the minimum spanning tree of this graph okay like we can understand this problem using undirected graph g suppose this is undirected graph g V E, where V is the set of pins and E is a set of possible interconnections between pair of pins, and for each edge U V, suppose U V is an edge that belongs to E, we have a weight W U V. W V U V is a weight connecting uh, node U and V, specifying the cost. This weight will specify the cost. 
so cost that is the cost to, to connect u and v cost or weight is what it is the cost to connect node u and v is its weight okay so we will use the term weight for cost and then we wish to find the acyclic subset acyclic subset means there should not be any cycle acyclic subset t which is the subset of e that connects all of the vertices and those and whose total weight wt total weight wt is equal to summation of u comma v belongs to t w u v okay so t is the acyclic subset of edges h set e and w t means sum of all w u v where u v belongs to t is equal to w t so it should be minimized this weight should be minimized then this weight will be called the cost of the minimum spanning tree and that tree is known as minimum spanning tree okay since t is acyclic and connects all the vertices it must form a tree it must form a tree which we can call spanning tree since it spans the graph g okay so let's see the example let's say this is the graph given where a b c d e f g h and i are the pins or vertices given vertices of the graph and these a b b c these are edges okay and here its weight is also given on the edges suppose weight of a b is 4 weight of b c is 8 okay so let's see what is the minimum spanning tree of this graph first of all see how minimum spanning tree grows okay so minimum spanning tree grows like the graph given you have to select those edges whose weights are minimum okay and you also have to uh, see that the graph is not forming the edges are not forming any cycle and another thing that it all the uh, vertices should be touched by the edges okay so let's select this edge hg since it has the minimum weight one now there are two uh, two edges whose weights are two so we will add one edge two then again take this two and now we have to um, find some other edge whose weights are lesser suppose this edge four then four then we have to take this is also four so take this and now this is seven we take it this edge and this edge is this edge should not be taken since it will make the cycle so take this one edge this edge and now from this 9 14 10 you take this one since this is minimum now what you see, you are seeing that this ab bc C D D E C F C I and uh, H G G F. These are edges are taken. These edges have been darkened. Okay. So now we find the cost of this. So the cost is uh, total cost. How we will find? We will add all those, all the weights which have been all the 
weights of edges which have been selected so 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 so this is 5 9 13 20 28 30 37 so the 37 is the cost of this minimum spanning tree okay there can be other other way also to find the spanning tree minimum spanning tree since some edges like this one if you are not select bc and you select ah then also the cost will be same and you will get another spanning tree so there is it is not unique way of finding spanning tree okay